You don't have a zucchini. So look at this. Welcome friends to another interesting episode. Our zucchini series is turning out to be interesting. We are learning a lot in the garden. If you have not watched the video one, zucchini DIY, start from there so you can understand how we started and what I've been doing. As usual, when I get to the garden, the first thing I do, I check whether there are female flowers and male flowers open because I want fruits. <laughs> so let's check. See? I just saw a bee inside there, but have you seen some ants? Those ants are not good news. Let me give you a close look at the flowers we have today. So we have, we have a male here open really nice the second zucchini you also have a male open i don't know why this <laughs> okay so the third zucchini we have a female open This is a perfect balance for the female to get pollinated, but now they are ants. <laughs> oh my, so I need to remove these ants or I need to hand pollinate this zucchini. Look at the ants. See. These ants are not good news. I just saw a bee inside there and it flew away when it was trying to get, when it almost got close to the ants. It flew away. Bee is back, the bee is back. Look. The bee is back, the bee is back. There, there it is. There the bees, bees. The bees in the female, see? But they are ants. Let's see what happens. It's not settled. It's not going to the female parts of the flower. See what is happening. It's supposed to go round and round the female parts of the flower as I have shown you in the previous video. But that is not what is happening. Something is bothering it and those are the ants. It can't settle inside there and do its job well. I hope it's focusing. <laughs> and the bee is out. See how fast the bee left the flower, which is not the same as what I showed you in a previous video. The bee took its time going around the female parts of the flower and pollinating the zucchini. Today, the bee cannot settle there because they are ants. So these ants are now becoming pests. I need to find a way to get rid of these ants. But now because there's a, a very small window of opportunity for pollination, we have to hand pollinate. Otherwise, we won't get a good zucchini. Like the other ones I've shown you, we'll get a short, stubby fruit that is malformed, not a zucchini at all, at, in fact. So this one we have to intervene because the bee cannot stay inside there. It's back. It's supposed to go to the female parts of the flower, but it's not going to the female parts of the flower to go around and spread the pollen. That is how pollination takes place. But now see what is happening. And in a few hours, this flower is going to close up, and once it closes up, that's a done deal. 
Once the sun gets here and as the day progresses, around noon, around one, the flower is going to close up. If the bee does not pollinate the flower, that's, that is, you don't have a zucchini. So look at this. So I'll have to use petroleum jelly at the base of the plant. Oh, the bee has left. So fast. Where is it? I hope I didn't speak too loudly. <laughs> so I have to use petroleum jelly. I apply at the base of the plant because I've seen ants. That's where they're coming from. So to prevent them from going up the plants into the flowers. And I hope you've noticed that today we have three bees around, not even one, that are trying to pollinate this one flower. But the ants are just causing a lot of trouble. <laughs> They're not giving the bees peace. Let me check whether the bees are back on this other side. The bees in the male flower, that's a male flower, you see? It was inside here, there, there. So that is where it goes to get the pollen, you see? You see how it's going round? Perfect. This is perfect, see? Rubbing its body, getting the pollen, when it goes there, close to the male part, it rubs its body there, it gets the pollen. And when it flies out, it will fly to the next female flower. And that is how it's... There, there. Wow, wow. There, there. Oh. It has gone to the third male flower. There it is, there it is, on top of the leaves. Hope you can see. Trying to keep some distance. I think I should lower my voice. Forgive me for the loud background noise of construction. Let's see. That's the female there. It hasn't come here yet. And they are ants. See? So these ants are the ones preventing the bee from doing its job. Where is the bee? Where is it? <laughs> so this ants here. This ants. I'll give it some time for the bees to try and <laughs> do the job naturally, but I just have to come and hunt for the Because they have not taken any time inside there. The ants are really causing trouble for them. So why did the ants have to go to the female flower? Of all places, they should have chosen the other male flower. <laughs> I just tried to rub off the ants by hand from the flower and you see I, I caused some damage to the flower. <laughs> so I, I don't have any fast way to get the ants out. I can't remove them by hand. female flower as the sun has started getting to this part of the garden I've been here for close to an hour the sun is getting part, getting close to this part of the garden and as I'd explained in a previous video as the day progresses the flower starts closing up and once it closes up that's a done deal it won't open again for the male flowers that closed up or any female that was not pollinated they'll just fall to the ground you see the ground, there are many flowers. I don't know if you can see. 
if it's not pollinated it will just fall so because we have we have a male here we have a male here we'll just get it from here direct I won't get the one that was in storage I just get it from here direct and pollinate it the bees have disappeared right now I don't know where they've gone to and as the day progresses the flower is closing so let me give it let me give it like an hour we see if the bees will come back and pollinate the zucchini the bees did not do a good job three of them are all gone so we don't have any good pollination today so let's cut the flower and do some hand pollination So this is the flower we are getting. This is our flower. So I'm going to open it up. I want to open up this flower, expose the male parts, and then we can hand pollinate. Here we have the tools to get the job done. It's only one flower, so I'm going to rub all this off on the female part of the flower. So that it's a done deal for us too. This is hand pollination now. Cameraman. Cameraman, please. Yeah. So this is what you rub inside there. Rub it well. Here the pollen inside there. Hand pollination now. So from this you are going to get a good zucchini. Because the pollen has gotten to the female part. Cameraman, please <laughs> get a good shot. So the ants are still there, which means the bees would not have done anything. Yeah, that's it. Look at this. Notice any difference? See? I have rubbed off the pollen there. So that's done. Hand pollination. <laughs> look at this massive thing. Look at it. Look, look. Just look at the difference. And now it's even heavier. Look at this. That's all for this episode, friends. Please subscribe to support me. It helps me to reach more people. Thank you for your support and let's create a food and garden heaven.